Bienvenidos and welcome to Kingdom Worship Center. On behalf of our pastors, Bishop Gregory Dennis and Pastor Tanya Dennis, thank you for choosing to worship online with us today. Our service will begin shortly. Kingdom Kids is back in session every second and third Sunday on Zoom. Please send an email to ministry at kingdomworshipcenter.org to register your child or your children from the ages of 4 to 10 and to receive the Zoom meeting information. The Kingdom Scholarship Partner launch for the 2020 to 2021 school year is upon us. Sign up now through November 15th to commit to making a monthly contribution as little as $10 a month by going to bit.ly forward slash KWC scholarship. Join Bishop G this and every Thursday on Facebook Live for Couch Conversations at 7.30 p.m. where he'll be discussing kingdom building during the COVID-19 pandemic and the role we all should play. Do you have a passion and a gift for teaching? Join the teaching ministry of Kingdom Worship Center today by emailing info at kingdomworshipcenter.org. Are you an essential worshiper? Do you miss the fellowship of the saints? You can now join us on Sundays for our weekly recordings at our Towson campus. Space is limited. Service starts at 11.30 a.m. Please register via the link posted on the screen or email info at kingdomworshipcenter.org for further instructions. Masks are required and social distancing will be honored. Join Abundant Life Ministries for Kingdom Life Chat, first and third Mondays at 6 p.m. on Zoom and Facebook Live as our presenters touch on how faith and mental health intersect while giving strategies on how we can cope and overcome during this season. Registration is free. Register by the link on the screen to obtain the Zoom information or join us live on Facebook. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? No, why not? Well, how about this? Grab your phone, your tablet, or your laptop and search Kingdom Worship Center Media and hit the subscribe button now. Dios te bendiga and God bless you. We are so happy to have you worship with us today. Service will begin shortly. Gracias por visitarnos hoy. Servicio comenzará en un momento. Bienvenidos and welcome to Kingdom Worship Center. On behalf of our pastors, Bishop Gregory Dennis and Pastor Tanya Dennis, thank you for choosing to worship online with us today. Our service will begin shortly.
Bienvenidos and welcome to Kingdom Worship Center. On behalf of our pastors, Bishop Gregory Dennis and Pastor Tanya Dennis, thank you for choosing to worship online with us today. Our service will begin shortly. Kingdom Kids is back in session every second and third Sunday on Zoom. Please send an email to ministry at kingdomworshipcenter.org to register your child or your children from the ages of 4 to 10 and to receive the Zoom meeting information. The Kingdom Scholarship Partner launch for the 2020 to 2021 school year is upon us. Sign up now through November 15th to commit to making a monthly contribution as little as $10 a month by going to bit.ly forward slash KWC scholarship. Join Bishop G this and every Thursday on Facebook Live for Couch Conversations at 7.30 p.m. where he'll be discussing Kingdom building during the COVID-19 pandemic and the role we all should play. Do you have a passion and a gift for teaching? Join the teaching ministry of Kingdom Worship Center today by emailing info at kingdomworshipcenter.org. Are you an essential worshiper? Do you miss the fellowship of the saints? You can now join us on Sundays for our weekly recordings at our Towson campus. Space is limited. Service starts at 11.30 a.m. Please register via the link posted on the screen or email info at kingdomworshipcenter.org for further instructions. Masks are required and social distancing will be honored. Join Abundant Life Ministries for Kingdom Life Chat first and third Mondays at 6 p.m. on Zoom and Facebook Live as our presenters touch on how faith and mental health intersect while giving strategies on how we can cope and overcome during this season. Registration is free. Register by the link on the screen to obtain the Zoom information or join us live on Facebook. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? No, why not? Well, how about this? Grab your phone, your tablet, or your laptop and search Kingdom Worship Center Media and hit the subscribe button now. Dios te bendiga and God bless you. We are so happy to have you worship with us today. Service will begin shortly. Gracias por visitarnos hoy. Servicio comenzará en un momento. Bienvenidos and welcome to Kingdom Worship Center. On behalf of our pastors, Bishop Gregory Dennis and Pastor Tanya Dennis, 
Thank you for choosing to worship online with us today. Our service will begin shortly.
Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As we thank you, we say by faith that it is so. We say that it is so by faith. We say that it is so. We'll bless your name. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Thank you, Jesus. And we say that it is so. In Jesus' name, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, put a praise right there. Open up your mouth. Say something to him. We bless your name, Jesus. We honor you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. There's nobody like you, Jesus. There's nobody like you, Jesus. We bless your name, Jesus. We honor your name, Jesus. We honor your name, Jesus. There's nobody like you. Jesus, we exalt you, Jesus. You can have your way. 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 You can move us out of the way. You can have your way, Jesus. I guess we the only ones that came to have some church. We bless you, Jesus. There's nobody like you. There's nobody like you. You've been a healer. You've been a keeper. You've been a provider. You've been a sustainer. You've been a keeper. You've been a provider. You've been a healer. You've been a sustainer. You've been faithful. You've been a sustainer. Jesus, you made a way. There's nobody like you. There's nobody like you. We put our trust in you. We put our trust in you. You never failed us. You never failed me. You never failed me. You never failed me. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, let's give him praise this morning. Come on, we exalt him. There's nobody like the Lord God. The soldier says we come to lift up the name of Jesus. We bless you, God. Hallelujah. Receive our love, receive our love, and as we shout your name, receive our praises, receive our praises, cause your name is high, be glorified, there's no other name, no other name, no other name like yours.
than ours. Greater than ours. It's greater than ours. It's greater than ours. Yes, your peace. Your peace. It's greater than ours. 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 See your love. Your love. It's greater than ours. There's no one, no one greater. Come on, worship him. Hallelujah. If you know there's nobody greater than him, if you know there's nobody stronger than him, we lift up your name, God. We lift up the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. We lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We lift up the name of Jesus. We lift up the name of Jesus. We lift up the name of Jesus. We lift up your name, Jesus. We lift up your name. We lift up your name. We lift up your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, don't stop. Lift up the name of Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We honor you, Jesus. Jesus, we lift up your name. 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 Can we say that all together? See, Jesus, Jesus, we lift up your name. See, Jesus, we lift Jesus, up your name. We lift up your name. See, Jesus, we lift Jesus, up your name. 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 See, Jesus, we lift Jesus, up your we name. On, one more time, say, Jesus, we lift Jesus, up your name. Say, Jesus, we lift Jesus, up your name. Come on, that's what we were created to do. Say, Jesus, we lift Jesus, up your name. Say, Jesus, we lift Jesus, up your name. Jesus, we 
last time, sing it again. Father, we thank you for your sovereignty. We thank you for how great and awesome a God you are. God, there's none like you in all of the earth. And we worship you and we magnify your name. We call your name Jesus. And we thank you for you giving us the right and the ability to use your name. For at the sound of your name, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that you are Lord to the glory of God our Father. We thank you so much for meeting us in this place. And we honor you for being the Lord of our life. We honor you for being the Lord of our life. And we bless you. God, you've never forgotten us. You've never forsaken us. And we bless you for it. And we bless you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. So there's something that's, that's on my heart, just a song real quick. But I need, I need real quick for somebody to grab a, a different mic for me and sanitize it real quick or grab a mic and you put a Clorox wipe on it real quick. And um, I know that that this, of course, is something that is impromptu, but guess what? That happens in church all the time. Um, and I need Terry uh, Brewer, uh, to, who has the keyboard, to kind of lead us in this song of worship. Um, and he sang this some years ago, and it blessed me, but I just heard, I heard it ringing out again in the atmosphere. And, um, and I, don't, don't y'all, don't, 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 don't back up from me. Come on, draw closer. Tell your name, say, draw closer, draw closer. Come on, draw closer. Um, Something happens uh, uh, when when I call. Uh, you know, you know what I'm talking. About? You all right? Are you mic'd up yet? Or are we still trying to get that ready? Huh? Yeah, you're singing. Yeah. He said, "Oh, I'm singing. You want me to sing it? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah." There's. Just give us a minute while we do this. But but I need you. Come on, lift your hands with me, if y'all would. Come on. Because there's something that actually transpires, that happens. There is a miracle, y'all, there's a miracle that happens when we call his name. Do you still believe that? Do you still believe? Do you believe that his name is able to change situations and circumstances? I'm sorry, do you believe it or not? Do you, do you, come on, do you believe it or not? Do you believe it or not? I believe it. I believe he's able. Woo! Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Something happens when we call you. Yes, Lord. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yes, something happens. Come on, sing with me. When we call you, sing Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There's power in the name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Victory in the name, Jesus. Something happens. Something happens. When we call when you. When we call you. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Something happens when we call you. Something Come on, put your weight on it. When we call when you. When we call you. Call on the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Call on the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, something yeah. happens. Something happens. When we call you. When we call you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Something happens, something happens. 
Jesus, 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 something happened. Something happens. Hallelujah. When we call you, we love to call the Jesus, name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. We love to call on the Jesus, only name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Hey, something happened. can back up. When? when we oh, y'all, come on. I believe cancer can dry up. When does it happen? Oh, God. I believe we can change circumstances and situations. You know when it happens? It happens. Good God Almighty. When, when, when does it happen? Tell me when it happens. It happens when we call. Hallelujah. Call his name. Use his name. Jesus, the Bible says that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. When we call, hallelujah, when we call. socially distance some of us are at home some at the sanctuary but get somebody's eye or fist pump somebody and tell them say I believe something's gonna happen when you call them I believe oh y'all come on y'all I believe something's gonna happen when you call them I know you've been calling them for a while but keep on calling them hallelujah keep calling them keep calling them and watch what the Lord does when you call his name
we call you? When we call Anything can happen when we call you. When we call you? Bible records to us that all things are possible. Y'all not help me. The Bible records that all things are possible to them that believe. I sense a turning, a changing, a moving. Could God Almighty. Can, can you sense it right now? I sense that God's name is up to something in your life. I need to challenge us as believers because we use the term or we use the title God so frequently. And I know like you know because we use God, but we use it interchangeably with Jesus Christ because we are Christians. And Christians use the terminology God and Jesus and even Holy Spirit all understanding the oneness of God. And so we do not differentiate between the personhood we understand that behold the Lord thy God is one but shows and reveals himself in many distinctions hallelujah but can I challenge you because there's only one that walks the earth the other two uh, reside in spiritual form but since there's only one of those distinctions that walks the earth and knows exactly where you've been because they've been through it y'all could have that the next challenge, hallelujah, don't just say, help me, Holy Spirit. I'm sorry, I'm messing with somebody right now. Don't just say, help me, Holy Spirit. And don't just come into the situation and say, oh my God, y'all could go. But can I challenge you on the next time that you come against something, call on the name of Jesus. Y'all, oh, oh I, I, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm sorry. Woo! Stay right there, don't move, don't move. Call on the name of Jesus. And watch what happens when Jesus becomes involved because he's been touched in the same voice that you've been touched. Good God Almighty. Y'all, I just scared some of y'all. Y'all said, boy, he really got apostolic with us this morning. Hallelujah. Hey, God. Hey, Lord. Ha, there is nothing like the name of Jesus. Good God. Somebody said there's nothing like the name of Jesus. And we don't use it, hallelujah, haphazardly. We use it to change situations. We use it to change outcomes. Hallelujah. We choose it. We use it for deliverance. We use it for miracles. Y'all not helping me in this Zion. We use the name of Jesus. We use the blood of Jesus. We use the word of God. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Hallelujah. I, I want to sit down and stand up at the same time. I'm just, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Hallelujah. But can I just encourage you, hallelujah, that Jesus is still in the miracle business. Somebody declare, say he's still in the miracle business. Oh, Lord. I said he's still in the miracle business. It doesn't make a difference what you see. He's still in the miracle business. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. All right. Try this again. Let's see what it's like to be cool, calm, and collected. Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. He can help you when you don't want to be helped. He'll say, y'all, cook my bicycle, y'all. Yeah. Woo! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Yeah. Hallelujah! I'm sorry. Hallelujah! 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 God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh, blessed Savior, righteous Redeemer, holy God, blessed Father, Lily of the Valley, bright and morning star. Oh, we love you. We love you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Is our God faithful? Is our God faithful? Is our God? Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Thank you. He's a miracle worker. Oh, he's a miracle worker. I am. He's a miracle worker. He's a miracle worker. you to imagine with me that it's not Jesus' shadow that he but it's the apostle. Y'all think God about it. It wasn't Jesus' shadow. It wasn't his shadow. He didn't walk by Jesus. But those who were connected to him, y'all, he changes them into a measure, yes, Marilyn, of his glory where their shadows can begin to manifest with God Almighty, what others need in their lives. Now, can I help you? Why does that happen? Because you understand as a shadow, what has happened is what has come from heaven has shined, or if I use the King James language, shone on you. And as it then casts off of you, it becomes glory or healing for somebody else. I'm, I don't know if I don't know if, I don't know if you're ready for it yet. But can I tell you that God's gonna do something so mighty in you that when you walk by somebody else, y'all not help me. When you engage with others, good God. When you touch somebody else, good God Almighty. I'm sorry, can I speak prophetically in here in this Zion for a moment? That what God is releasing in this season, good God Almighty, has been a purification for his people so that when he signs on you, it'll be healing for the next. Okay, I gotta, I gotta. Okay, let me, um, let me go where I was going to be going at first this morning. I'm going to just read this scripture. But just look at somebody. You can't touch them, right? Because we socially distance. Except if you're home, you can touch them. And just, just look at them real good and tell them, say, there's a healing coming to you. See, one of the things we didn't recognize. Woo! 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 Ah! Oh! Woo! Okay. I want to challenge Corey Jones, your theological position on your own salvation. With salvation comes perfect healing of every condition of man. Good God, you're my secret. Woo, I'm sorry, I'm, I, I gotta say it again. With your salvation does not just come the ability to say I'm saved and will make it to heaven, but salvation in Jesus Christ embodies perfect healing. Good God Almighty. Woo! 
Oh God, I feel like telling you your whole man is here. Oh God. Oh Lord. Okay. I gotta, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Uh, woo, God. Mm. Just to clear me, perfect healing, perfect healing. Perfect healing. You can't have Christ and not have perfect healing. Y'all could you can't have Christ and not have perfect deliverance. Hallelujah. Woo, God. I was going to read from the Old Testament on today from Psalm 8. I was going to read, Oh Lord, our God, it's amazing. How excellent is thy name in all the earth. Woo. Oh, and understand this, at this particular time, this Psalm of David, they have no right to call his name, but they still know his name is excellent. Y'all, good God. They won't even write his name. Y'all, they remove the vows from his name when they write because they don't want to use the, no, the Lord, that God's name in vain. So they're hesitant, but God gives you a freedom, a liberty to use his name. To use his name. Oh Lord thy God. How excellent is thy name in all the earth. Who has set thy glory above the heavens? Hear this. Out of the mouth. I'll take you back to last week. Out of the pay. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings. Thou hast ordained strength. God, why'd you give me strength from the start? Because of thine enemies. Ooh. No, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't put it together. You've been stronger than your enemy for a long time. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again. You've been stronger than your enemy for a long time. God Almighty, you've been stronger than your enemy for a long time because of thine enemy, that thou mightst fill the enemy of the enemy. Tell hypertension to be still. See, everybody's not ready for this. Everybody's not ready for this. Everybody's not ready for this. I know. Tell hypertension, just stop, be still. Enough is enough. Tell your heart murmur, regulate. Y'all not, y'all not. Good go. Woo. Woo. I know you not, I know you don't like this. I know, I know, I know. Because, because we've been so conditioned to, um, to science. We've been so conditioned to our medical doctors. And I'm not telling you not to go to the doctor. I'm telling you to tell your doctor what Jesus did and then tell him to verify it. Y'all could have. And when he looks and he says he doesn't know how, tell him how it happened. Tell him I called his name and something happened when I called. Y'all. <laughs> okay. I'm, y'all, I'm not going to preach this Sunday. I'm sorry. I'm not going to preach this Sunday. Uh, but in the Bible, Matthew uh, 21. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. I just had to, I had to grab this one. I, I looked back down in my notes. I didn't know all this was going this way. This is when Jesus cleanses the temple. Matthew 21. I'm, I'm, I'm starting at verse 13. It says, And he said unto them, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer. But you've made it a den of thieves. Declaration is that my house will be a house of prayer. And as soon as the declaration is made that my house will be a house of prayer, verse 14 happens. The Bible says, And the blind and the lame came to the temple. Y'all could God of God. And he healed. And he healed. And when the chief priests, scribes, saw the wonderful things that he did, watch this, and the children crying in the temple, and saying, Hosanna, the son of David. 
They were so displeased. Displeased. They were so displeased. And he said unto them, Hearest thou what these say? Jesus said unto them, Yea. Have you never read out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast perfected praise? He left him and went out the city to Bethany. Large, large city. I declare to you that there's something that God's going to do through this word. Please, sit down. That's going to be miraculous for the post-pandemic church. Consider yourself called out to the post-pandemic church. Y'all understand pan, which means global, worldwide, pan. Even if you pan the screen, if you pan the camera, pan the angle, you change it to so that the view becomes larger, increased. And God says there's going to be a pandemic church, post-pandemic church, whose reach is extended, whose impact is glorious. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm a, post, I'm a part of the post-pandemic church. Mm, part of the post-pandemic, that was too many P's in there. Part of the post-pandemic church. As a part of the post-pandemic church, God is increasing my reach. Okay. If you cannot increase your reach, I gotta say this real quick. Hear this, Niger Banks, just for a question. Quick second. You can't increase your reach without increasing your pitch. Because to increase something without it being increased in its potency is to dilute it. Yeah. So you about to get strong. No, no. <laughs> Yo, good. Are you understanding the words? Excuse me, uh, Chris Tucker. Are you understanding the words that are coming out of my mouth? You are about to get stronger because your reach is about to be increased. Mm. All right. Mm. All right. I do like. And all of this is happening right around this, our celebration of Hebrew holidays and our fast, our consecration. And that is because earth and heaven are lining up in sequence with one another. And some things, because of that, fall off, drop off. Even some of the great things, the great things that we leaned on, our great crutches, our support system, y'all not, I'm, huh, y'all, y'all hear me? The things that we counted on, your good government job that you thought you'd never lose. All of these things, they're in his hand until he becomes your actual source. Your actual source. God, you are my supply. You are my source. I lean and depend on no one, nothing else but you. I will never give anybody your space. Never give anybody your space. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'll stop calling my bishop, asking him for his opinion. And I'll start praying and saying, God, which way do I go? No, I'm, listen. Y'all like, wait a minute. Yeah. I, I, and I'm, I'm not telling you not to call me. I'm, I'm telling you to, before you call me, talk to Jesus. Have a little talk with Jesus. I'm sorry. Talk with him. Something's going to happen when you call him. All right. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, let me tell you, you're in a bad spot, my friend, my brother, my sister. You need Jesus as Lord of your life. He's able to heal. 
He's able to change. He's able to help us. There's no one like Jesus. And the closer you get to him, the more you begin to look like him. Hallelujah. So we invite you to be a part of this great body of believers. Not as in the says Kingdom Worship Center, but this body of believers as the church of the living God. I, I got to start, and I'm going to tell you this before, before when I, I'm stopping here, but listen to me. The Lord said to me the other day, I said, God, I said, why is there so much that's happening right now in this world today? And he said, I need my church to be one. So I need my church to be one. He said, there's too many voices coming out of the church that's not one voice, not one sound. This goes back to, to, back to even the scripture of Psalm 8. And so you got to make sure that, that we are, as the church, making one sound as one voice, speaking the truth of God's word, not your opinion. What did God say? It's this season we're losing our own opinions. And we're stepping into, we're stepping into what God has said. What do you think about what did God say? That's what I think. What did God say? That's what I think. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, those who are online today. We thank you for being with us today, and we pray that God's richest blessings will be upon you. Please. Don't forget today to give with your tithes and your offerings. And as you come giving, the Lord loves a cheerful giver. So take your tithes, your offerings, and go ahead on your cash app. I always leave my phone when I'm trying to do this because I don't want nobody calling me while I'm here. But get your phones, go on your phone, and um, whichever be your preference or your preferable way of giving, whether it be cash app, Giveify, or online at kingdomworshipcenter.org. Then also there, you can mail your giving to the church directly. We love seeing you. And don't forget to write us. Write, write us, if you would, please. Let us know how this ministry has been blessing you. You can either send it to info at kingdomworshipcenter.org, or you can send us a letter. I love getting letters, believe it or not, letters in the mail that you read. So please make sure you're doing that for us. And so we pray that you would just find God's richest blessings. Now listen, we thank you for your liberality given, but you that are home today, listen, may the blessings of the Lord make you rich. And may he add no sorrow to your life. If there's sorrow attached to, you, to it, it's not yours. If it's sorrow attached to it, it's not yours. Because what God's blessing you with in this season is a blessing that has no sorrow. Amen. Amen. Continue to do the will of God. We love you. Serve the kingdom of God. And God bless you. Have a beautiful Sunday.